Just take a look at what is behind me. This is a first look at the latest Arvala M10 Pro electric scooter. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the unboxing experience and we're also gonna be giving this a very forced test ride. There is going to be more than one video on this electric scooter because it is a very big scooter that is packed full of features. So there's gonna be a playlist created in order to keep track of how I am reviewing this scooter. Now, taking the M10 Pro out of the box, you might say is a little bit tricky, but it's not. It is one of the easiest unboxings I ever had to do, and you simply just place your handlebars on and put those four stainless steel screws in where the handlebar area is. You also get the two NFC keys and everything of course that you need for this electric scooter. A huge shout out to Avarla for sending me this scooter to review. If I have any discount codes, they will be linked in the description. Forced impressions count, and I have to say, I have not had a scooter like this in a very long time. And the scooter that this definitely is much better overall is this better than the Varla Eagle 1. Look at the color of this, black, throughout the whole thing and it's, it's it screams build quality overall so i cannot wait to test this as the weeks go on to see what it's really like but in the meantime let's just take it on its first ride and see how we get on full charge we are going to try gear five which is the highest gear and we are going to try single motor and let's just get a feel for the electric scooter and just see what it's like so single motor Whoa, <laughs> torque, very good. Whoa, this is so smooth. Whoa, the brakes are, God, I miss hydraulic brakes. So the top speed on this electric scooter is 60 kilometers an hour, which is absolutely more than enough, I think, in my opinion. I need to get used to having a powerful scooter again. But yeah, this is really nice. We'll do dual motor just in a few minutes. I gotta say, tires are really nice, buttery smooth, suspension, no clacking on the suspension, no clacking from the mud guards. The grips are really nice as well. And because the handlebars are actually quite wide, you have a good bit of stability there. This is just force impressions, so keep that in mind. Now I am going to, of course, you can play around with the regen braking on this as well. Okay, we are on dual motor now. We're on gear five. The scooter is completely maxed out, unlocked. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, you can wheel spin. <laughs> whoa, 30, 35, 40. Stability, absolutely fantastic on this. 50. 55, 55 kilometers an hour, wind coming towards us, 56, 56 kilometers an hour, whoa, <laughs> really good. God, it's been a while since I went that speed on an electric scooter. The power on the scooter is crazy. From the torque that you get on it, you can just see here how quick the scooter actually pulls off. Whoa, <laughs> the scooter actually lifted up there. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> how could you not like that? Of course, anybody watching this video, definitely safety gear, like myself right now, is needed. Even going high speeds, you feel safe, you feel planted to the ground. You have a back foot rest on this. So going higher speeds, woohoo! You can have good stability there. Tires are doing a fantastic job with the grip and the, sh you can the sheer stopping power on this from those hydraulic brakes. If you just take a look. Whoa. That's only me tapping the zoom hydraulic brakes on this. I gotta say, I am very impressed with this scooter. Whoa. <laughs> you can just, that's how much torque this scooter actually has. 
Dual motors is best used in hilly areas. Of course, and off-roading. Good thing about this electric scooter is it's a split rim design. So if you want to fit off-road tires, it'd be very easy to do. So just to show you how powerful the M10 Pro is, it's on gear five, it's also on dual motor. And for reference purposes, we are at 79% battery right now. Just take a look, full throttle. <laughs> Again, at a standstill. And the suspension is like buttery smooth. Like just imagine if you were racing your friends and you had one of these. I haven't had this much fun in a while, so I'm just gonna enjoy the moment. Imagine you're on a racetrack, dual motor. <laughs> so the grips on this electric scooter are actually really nice very soft to the touch and they're nice and wide so there'll be no fatigue coming from your hand on long journeys. You have the light switch here, everything lights up. Of course you have your indicators here, left, right. That also light up here to tell you that the indicators are actually on the electric scooter which is a really nice touch. You have a horn here, you have your NFC, you just simply tap it and then you hold down the on button, scooter comes on. You can see here this actually lights up as well when you have your lights enabled. Really nice touch. The display is one of the most detailed ones. You have your gear here, plus or minus to change your gear. One, two, three, four, five. Five being the highest gear. It's on dual motor at the moment. To switch between dual and single, you just hold that down. And then that goes on to single mode. But of course, we all like dual mode. So let's just stick that back on there for now. Also, you have your voltage being displayed here, which is a really nice touch. But you can actually change this to the time the scooter's been on. The mileage that I've done, which is only four kilometers since I took it out of the box. You also have, you can set a separate trip if you want. And then you have your battery percent, just 79%. But I have been going, of course, quite fast in the electric scooter, pulling wheel burners. But I will definitely be doing a range test on this. This, of course, is the hook. You know, you just use this to hook it onto the back of the scooter. I will be showing these small things in the review, so keep an eye out for that. Coming up on front, if you turn your lights on, you have a really nice two LED height adjustable, which is actually quite a good light. Coming down the stem, you have really nice LED lights coming down the stem. They're also completely around the deck. Your indicators here, flashing. Everything flashes actually when you indicate on the whole scooter, which is which is a really nice thing to see. Now, if you just take a look just for a moment here to appreciate the attention to detail on the cable wrapping here, it's very neatly done, completely all around the electric scooter. Going down, nice hidden here. It goes down, around. Now, for a moment, I thought I was seeing things when I took it out of the box, but underneath this electric scooter, I'll show you a close-up shot now, there's actually a plastic cover covering the cables underneath so when it rains of course the water cannot run down and get into the battery compartment which is also silicone this is an ipx5 of course rated electric scooter you simply pull up the safety catch pop this part down but it won't fall down unless you release this massive stainless steel pin i mean it is sturdy it is rock solid you just hear that click in there and you feel how how brilliantly made that is. Imagine going off road and just feeling, feeling the sturdiness, knowing that you know you're safe, you can have fun. Reflectors on both sides, you have street tires that have a really nice tread completely around on both of them, giving you the grip that you need. Again, the cable wrapping is also on the hydraulic brakes. Even the attention to detail, like the lock washers are actually black, the same color as the scooter. Mud guards, nice rock solid, no rattling there. They will do a good job, I'd say, if it's raining. Deck itself is actually grand and big. Nice footrest at the back here. Very easy to clean this here. Arvala stickers, of course, all around the electric scooter. Rear indicators, of course, side lights. Again, more cable wrapping on the back. Really nice, strong mud guards. You can see and you can feel the quality overall. The only thing I don't like is that light, if you are lifting the scooter, you could potentially damage that light quite easily. So for that reason, if I am lifting it, I just grab it from underneath here. The motors on this are, of course, 1,000 watt each. 
giving you phenomenal power with that huge chunky battery as well I gotta say very happy with this electric scooter so far so good if you have this scooter simply on single motor mode like what I'm on right now it's kind of all you need like what I said about dual motor it's good for hills off-roading going a bit crazy but single motor has more than enough to be completely honest I don't think dual motor is good in a city setting especially at traffic lights because you'll be kind of pulling wheel burners but one good thing about this electric scooter that I have to make a separate video on is actually look at them brakes Whoa. <laughs> it does indeed have a app that is completely customizable you can customize so many things so I'm just gonna make a separate video on that because it's too, it will be too long to include in this video so if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like and of course if you want to see the full review video please make sure to keep an eye out for that also will be more than likely we might end up even doing a range test on the M10 Pro maybe driving on gear 4, gear 5, switching between single and dual motors who knows down the line I plan on definitely putting the scooter through its paces again it is linked below to have a look at its current deals and any discount codes I always try and help you out is linked below and please give this video a like, share it with your friends it helps the channel in the meantime stay safe and I'll talk to you in the next video